Here we go, number nine. A few hours ago in the six at six, we showed you a glamorous moo moo, but not everyone's into those. So here's another option. It's the old floral night dress. It's only oh, yeah. 14 bucks at the Harriet Carter store. It's got the four C's going for it. Cotton, comfortable, cute, and cheap. 14 yeah. bucks, you can't buy anything Look for that. 14. It's like you can't buy a new anymore. Look yeah, at it. Is. Yum. Wowie. You're welcome. Harry that Potter. is nice. Number eight, the New York Times recently posed a great question. Does it matter if I eat the stickers on fruits and vegetables? No. They call these things PLU stickers, and that stands for price lookup. So the FDA has approved the stickers to be on food, and they make sure that the stuff that makes the sticker stick isn't harmful to consume. And the sticker itself won't make you sick since it's just paper and a little ink. But yeah. you should remove mm. it. And you should not put the stickers in your compost if that's your thing because they don't break down. And incidentally, a stickers that start with the numbers three or four mean the item was grown conventionally. And those starting with nine indicate the item was grown organically. Wow. That's a lot to unpack there. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah. Mm. Uh, number seven, uh, funny thing about sloths, they might be the only mammals on the planet who don't pass gas. <laughs> really? Look at how cute this video of the oh, sloth is. Look at is. adorable. Yeah. Oh, adorable. Passers, huh? Smiling. Look at that. Apparently, just like the uh, animals themselves, sloths have very slow digestive systems. Uh -huh. uh, it takes days to digest the leaves they eat, and their guts have simple doing? microbes that don't produce flatulence. Uh -huh. Instead, the methane those microbes give off is absorbed into the bloodstream, so they just internally fart, uh -huh. and then Boy. it's breathed out. I've got bad breath. Yeah, yeah fart there breath. There you go. It's going to get you somewhere. <laughs> it's got to come out somewhere. Yeah. Just coming out of different well, He's got an itch, the poor fellow. Yeah. <laughs> All right, number six. According to the Washington Post, lots of people in South Korea are stressed out, and they are willing to pay to just sit, sit and stare at clouds and trees. The stress is the result of COVID and the era we're living in. At a tea shop in the capital city of Seoul, there are chairs set up facing the windows to look out at the Seoul Forest, which is a big public park. You can't talk and your phone must be on silent. Movie theaters are showing something called Flight. For $6, you sit and watch a film that simulates a 40-minute plane ride through fluffy clouds. They even held the Space Out competition this year where people compete to achieve the lowest heart rate possible while sitting in a healing forest. It's a big deal because doing nothing is somewhat frowned upon in South Korea. Uh. But doctors say it's a very healthy thing, and they hope people take more time Boy. to relax. Well, you'd be a pioneer in South Korea, huh? Yeah. Except I'd have to sit. It's the sitting in silence thing. Right, uh, and staying away. Yeah. Yes. You hate an yeah. uncomfortable silence. Yeah, That's I right. can sit, but it's the silence that I. Yeah. Buzz you in. Mm -hmm. Number five, drip check. Yellow is about to have a moment. <laughs> Marigold, buttercup, banana, daffodil. Oh, yes. These yeah. shades will be everywhere in 2022. Really? Test out the different shades to see what works best with your hair color and skin tone. Remember, you wear the yellow, the yellow that never is, wears you. That's right. Mm. Too many people forget that. Yellow is a tough color it is. To, mm -hmm. to, to wear. You wear it. Don't let it wear you. That's it's, for sure. It's hard. It's, yeah, it's hard She's to. She's wearing it there, right? Yeah, it Boom. looks great, but it's just, it's, you really got to look at how it yep. depends on the, yeah. it depends on the clothes. Just like Why you we said. we have mirrors. There. Yeah. Number four, not everyone is lucky enough to have a Chantel in their life. Uh, but know what's better than a cat of your own? Adorable oh. cat decals, that's what. Oh. You can put them all over your apartment, oh. uh, in the bedroom, oh. check. Look at that. Looks like it's climbing right off the couch. Living room, check. <laughs> Bathroom, double check. Wow. We found all sorts of precious wall decals online Ooh. for big kids and little ones. Uh, they're not creepy at all, not whatsoever. Hang in there. People who don't know, this is Audio and Ladies Cat. 
Chantel and I playing a song together yeah. on She's National great. Cat Day several years back. How's your cat doing? Well? Uh, it's unclear. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I haven't yeah. heard any noises yeah. coming from the metal box. <laughs> good, good for you. She might just be sleeping. Yeah, I'm sure. All right, number three, let's take a peek inside Audrey Hepburn's Swiss Cottage, a home in the Swiss countryside about 30 miles outside Geneva. Ooh. She gave the place a French name, La Pesibille. That means the place of peace. Hepburn was fond of spending lots of time in her garden or relaxing in her bedroom with a quaint canopy bed. Mm. She liked light pastels and different fabrics. Hepburn's son said this home was where his mother was happiest. She must have been because she spent the last 30 years of her life there, especially while working as an ambassador for UNICEF. Isn't mm. that cute? Swish Cottage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty big cottage. Yeah. Beautiful canopy bed. Yeah. You can never get enough of those canopy <laughs> beds. Uh, number two, uh, look at this cool hotel way up in the Arctic Circle of Finland. This is the old hotel Kaxloden. Uh, they have 20 glass igloos where you can enjoy incredible views of the old Aurora Borealis or the Northern Lights while staying warm in a nice and toasty bed. Besides igloos, there's absolutely no light there, so you will get to see millions of stars every night. And if you want to rough it, they also have ice igloos. Oh, now you're talking. On time. So is the hotel, you're just in your one little igloo by yourself and there's no other amenities there? Maybe it will ask for a double bed. Huh. Number one in the list yesterday, we took a look at Strange scourges, and a lot of people reached out about the Mr. Magoo special. People love the songs, especially the one with Tiny Tim singing Razzleberry Dressing. Here it is. Will we have a gander and some Razzleberry Dressing? Oh, Razzleberry Dressing would be nice. We haven't had a hen since I can tell you when. We love a hen again with razzleberry dressing. Mm. Some waffle jelly cake. Let me know that we get yeah, this right later. <laughs> That's Tiny Tim. That's the Tiny Tim of 1962. Oh, not the singer. Oh, I was Tim. thinking yeah. of the Tiny yeah, Tim, oh, the singer. Tim, Tim, no, no. The tulips guy. I thought um, I was waiting for yeah, the tiptoe through the tulips. Yeah. <laughs> that would be entertaining. <laughs> yeah, he was a more interesting fella. Yeah. <laughs> A Christmas tree we will someday I mm. vow. Nice. And now it's picking up. Here we go. Start Fourth smiling verse. and yeah. enjoy More heartfelt. Me. The mirror. Oh, third verse. Here we go. At least everyone from the old folks home was sent in the tips about this. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> 1962. Here we are. Little Pilgrim on the right. <laughs> you said it wasn't going to pick up. Yeah. Right, look at this, a hand clap. Those are the days, sing-alongs at the dinner table. Yeah. Uh, boy, look at the joy. Boy. Hmm. Oh, we got the whole thing here. We sure did. <laughs> what Christmas is all about. A very Merry Christmas to us all, my dears. Mr. in there. Where is no. he? No. Well, he was Scrooge. This is at Bobby yeah. Brackett's house, I think. Oh, oh, oh. Bless us oh, I kind of feel like you're not making the most out of your lead there, right? You're well, a star yeah, in every scene, yeah. I would think. Well, there he is, looking hmm. at how much fun they're having with their razzleberry dressing. Mm. And that's the nine at nine. <laughs> nine at nine. All right, so I'm going to continue.